In this video, we'll take a look at whether NaNO2 is acetic, basic, or neutral when it's dissolved in water. This is sodium nitrite. To figure that out, we need to know the neutralization reaction that produces sodium nitrite. So the neutralization reaction, we have our acid, HNO2, plus our base, NaOH. That gives us the sodium nitrite plus water. This is a neutralization reaction. So if we know the strength of the acid in the base, we can figure out what this will be. The pH will be when it's dissolved in water. We can use this table here to help us out. So on the table, HNO2, we're looking to see whether it's a strong acid. And as we go down, HNO3, but HNO2 is not listed for our strong acids. So we're going to assume that HNO2 is a weak acid. We'll put WA up here. For the sodium hydroxide, we, there it is right there. So sodium hydroxide, that's a strong base. Put an SB so we remember that. So now we know the strengths of the acid in the base. So according to our rules, we're trying to find a weak acid and a strong base. So here's a strong base and a strong acid. No, weak base. No, we have a strong base. But we do have here strong base and the weak acid. So when we have this neutralization reaction take place, the NaNO2 dissolved in water will have a pH greater than 7. That means it'll be alkaline, also called basic. So in answer to our question, when you put NaNO2, when it's dissolved in water, the resulting solution will be basic, also called alkaline. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.